Welcome to the second annual Crystal Tractor Rodeo for our employee-based training program we do. We try to do this event once a year. We do it here at my ranch. We bring all of our employees from our accounting, detailed technicians, everyone with all of our equipment and products. That way they can spend a whole day going through it at station by station, understanding what products we offer and what we sell to our customers and allowing them to actually touch and feel it. I believe hands-on learning is the best way to learn. What's your name? What do you do here? Robert. I'm a salesman at Crystal Tractor in Chiefland. Cool. What are you almost looking forward to today? Uh, I'm just getting to see all the new, because we bought three new stores, so getting to see the, uh, the new equipment and everything. Cool. You going to have some fun? That's right. So What's your name? Tyler McCoy. What do you do here? I'm a store operator of Madison. What are you looking forward to here today? I'm looking forward to learning some new stuff about some old equipment that we have. Any particular brand you want to drive? Um, very interested in Sani since that's our newest uh, manufacturer that we just signed on with. So I haven't got to mess with them a whole lot, so I'm excited to awesome. get on that machine and see what they can do. Do some serious digging? I can't wait. What's your name? What do you do here? My name's Charles Eady and I am the lot porter for uh, Ellis Assassin in my bag. Right on. What are you most looking forward to today? Uh, just to see everybody. You gonna have some fun today? Yeah, I'm gonna plan on it. What's your name? What do you do here? Hi, my name is Tim, and I am the salesman at the power store. What are you most looking forward to today? Uh, trying out some new equipment like our sandy stuff, a couple excavators, and meeting all these new stores that we've got now. Cool. Can I have some fun? Yeah, man. All right. Absolutely.
I work at Christmas Drug and I am a sales admin. And I... What are you most looking forward to here today? I'm looking forward to trying new equipment that I haven't been on yet. The bigger excavators, um, skid steers, whatever is available. Cool. You can have some fun. I'm so excited. For All right. What's your name? What do you do here? Steve Vanis, tractor mechanic, crystal tractor and home assassin. What are you most looking forward to today? Uh, fun and joy of running all the machines and meeting new people. What machine do you want to run? Uh, I'm looking for them JCBs, baby. What's your name? What do you do here? Uh, my name's Jeff, and I sell stuff. Where at? Crystal Tracker Ocala. What are you most looking forward to today? Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff we get to put our hands on um, that come from other stores that we don't have at our location. So it's nice to be able to uh, put our hands on equipment that we don't have at our Ocala location, but we can help refer people to other locations and sell the equipment that we have ran ourselves. Trey Jones with Land Pride. I am the territory manager for South Georgia and North Florida. And uh, we have all your Land Pride implements. And what we represent today is a circle of pride where we show the implements that match the tractor power. Uh, so we show here that with our Land Pride implements, uh, you can get the customer to see how to put the right units with the power. It lets the customer see how this bundle can come together for the benefit of them. By putting everything together on the lot at the dealership, it stops the customer from having to do so much walking. They can come out and see everything in one place and also see what matches to that power source for that tractor. One other thing that we can look at is a quick hitch that matches with our tractors. So with a quick hitch, you can hook up, just like it says, you can hook something up quick. So you would have the tractor, you would attach the quick hitch, and then the quick hitch can connect to the power unit that you're trying to, to work with and it makes it a lot faster just by pulling these handles you can disconnect and connect. Uh, Land Pride is a product of Kubota. So all the stuff out here in your circle of pride what's your favorite piece of equipment? I would say probably the tiller uh, just because I like the finish that it does. It does a really good job of uh, making the, pro the, the finished product with one to two passes makes everything look really smooth and really it's just really a good product whenever the when you're ready to put down a seabed. Cool. Hey, I'm Connor with Ironcraft Attachments out here showcasing some of our equipment. We are a full line manufacturer for both tractor implements for the three point hitch as well as a full line manufacturer for skid steer attachments. Some of the pieces we brought out today are our extreme root grapple. This is for your track machines up to 100 horsepower. Great for land clearing and cleanup. It is at a great price point, well built uh, with a manufacturer's warranty. Over here we have our skid steer brush cutter. We call this a tree reaper. This is a 17 to 27 gallon per minute motor on this. So it'll be for your mid flow uh, skid steers, more than likely around a 75 horse machine. It has a seven inch cut capacity. So you can take seven inch diameter uh, material down. It also has the optional uh, mulching teeth. So as you cut, you can also mulch up the material and leave behind a nice looking product. We also offer a full line of uh, mini skid steer attachments. Uh, so this is gonna be your stand on track machines. Um, we offer grapples, pallet forks, trenchers, land levelers, tillers, a full lineup of those products. Um, so we're a, a well-rounded company that offers both the, the ag side and the construction side. And uh, we're based out of East Tennessee, Athens, Tennessee. Uh, my name's Alex. I'm the uh, 
regional sales manager for Abra Equipment Supply for uh, Crystal Tractor. We've come out here to the field days and we've brought most of what they normally deal with, uh, starting with, especially with the forestry mulchers for skid steers, track loaders, and excavators. A new item on the end is our mini soil, which is a subsoiler for higher horsepower skid steers or track loaders. Uh, also including our PTO attachments for their new uh, lower horsepower tractors, 30 to 50, 50 to 90 horsepower tractors. And new item here is a hydraulic flail mulcher for the smaller compact machines. This is our H360 unit. Uh, and actually this is the first time we're bringing it out here. Cool. Then over here, we've got our dipper foxes. These are our stump cutters. This large one here would be for the sani machines, larger excavators. Then this is the 500, which would be for a track loader, skid steer, or mini excavator. Then over here, we've brought a number of our brush fox brush cutters. These are all both open and closed front machines, excavator mounted and skid steer track loader mounted. Also including some of our grapples and grapple buckets and the new uh, skid steer mounted uh, stump grinder. Kevin Murphy here with Blue Diamond Attachments at the Crystal Tractor Rodeo. I want to thank Crystal Tractor for having us and let us bring some attachments down. We have our roadshow trailer behind us, which is our mobile classroom. We have uh, chairs and TVs in there to do a education for all of our dealers. We brought with us a couple of our attachments for storm cleanup season, our severe duty grapple, definitely one of our most popular ones, 66 to 84 inch sizes. Got smaller models for lighter tractors, even mini skid steers. Probably our most well-known attachment at these shows is our severe duty brush cutter. This one's got the nice serrated blade carrier, piston motor, and up to a 10 inch cut capacity. We offer these in standard flow and two different high flow models to fit whatever skid steer your customer is running. And of course, trencher to save you from having to get an excavator or shovels to dig a trench. Three foot model on display here, but we do offer these up to a four and a five foot depth with anywhere from a four to a 12 inch wide chain to cover whatever jobs you have. And finally, running all the way over to our last attachment on the end here, we have our vibratory post driver. So this vibratory post driver is fitted with a tilt function to get your posts in plumb and square. Uh, this will do anywhere from a four inch post cup on the bottom to a 12 inch post and can even help drive sheet piling for seawalls. So this machine, we can run electronics to run any brand skid steer to activate your tilt function, even offer a universal kit on it as well. Many, many mounts available, many in stock. Have to help with any attachments we can for you. Yeah, this is Ryan with Crystal Tractor. We're here today uh, at the rodeo. We're demoing some equipment here. We've got uh, compact track loaders. We've got some JCB equipment. We've got some whacker stand on track loaders. And we have some backhoes in the background um, that all the employees are getting to demo today. Uh, I have some factory representatives here today. I've got John with whacker, Sam with uh, JCB, and Austin with Takauchi. That's Butch Simmons. He's also here uh, helping out with the rodeo, making sure that all the employees are safe, have a fun learning environment. It's been a really good talk. Hey, my name's John. I'm from uh, Wacker Noisen. Came down from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where our North American headquarters is at, and we're happy to be participating in this uh, Crystal Tractor Rodeo. We appreciate the opportunity. Uh, one of the things I'm really excited about bringing the Wacker Noisen brand out here to show you guys is uh, just the, the breadth of what we offer. So from the excavator product to the compact track loader, the utility track loader, but also the compaction products that we brought out here. So uh, really showing off a lot of the product line that we offer from light to compact here from Wacker Noisen. And I'll pass it to my guy, Sam here. Hi, it's Sam Ullier with JCB. Uh, we're best based out of Savannah, Georgia. It's great to be down here today uh, training the Crystal sales team um, on the full range of JCB product, uh, starting from our mini excavator range, the 35Z and 50Z. Behind me, we have our compact telehandler, the 52560, our compact wheel loader, uh, the 409, and the 1CXT, which is a really unique machine, a hybrid of a skid steer and a backhoe loader. And then we also have our fast track range here as well, the 4220 fast track, the high speed, extremely comfortable and safest tractor on the market. Hey, Austin Smith, I'm a regional product manager with Takeuchi. 
Uh, Takeuchi is a great company that has been around since the early 1970s. Uh, we have the world's first 360 excavator in 1971, and then of course the world's first track loader in 1986. Uh, we've also been able to celebrate bringing our manufacturing to North America with a plant in Moore, South Carolina, where we're currently doing track loader assembly and eventually we'll be doing uh, track loader uh, construction. We're happy to be here at the Crystal event and uh, demoing a couple of our pieces as we range anywhere from a one metric ton mini up to a, tw to up to a 15 ton. And then we also offer five track loader options today. We're showing off our TL12 V2 high flow machine. So happy to be here, happy to train these guys and uh, look forward for another good event. Hey, what's happening guys, I'm Butch here with the Crystal Tracker in the land. Having lots of fun out here today. Got all the employees out here. Everybody's having a great time. Lots of learning going on. Um, I'm doing a lot of stuff with the uh, backhoes right now. I got the subcontract BX23S there, the backhoe uh, loader, got the belly mower, got a lot of stuff to offer today. We also got all of our full range of Kubota stuff sitting on the ground today, excavators. Um, there's tractor loader backhoe here. We got our, our big track loaders over here. The new 75-3 is here. Um, a lot of awesome features on that that we can talk about. All of our tractor lineup, we got lots of things to show you guys here at the rodeo today. It's been a great time. Look forward to the rest of the day also. Hey y'all, here we here with Crystal Tractor and Equipment. I'm out here with Clay and Haley with Kubota and JCB and I'm gonna be your Mahindra representative. We're out here at the Crystal Equipment Rodeo. As you can see behind us, we have all kinds of equipment. We're doing the Mahindra and Kubota tractors side by side. I'm featuring the Mahindra brand, which we feature best in class lift capacity, no def, no regen, no diesel particulate system. We're doing side-by-side -side comparisons so that our sales team and our service team can better assess your needs with all the brands we have to offer here. And I'll hand it off to Clay so he can get into the Kubotas. Clay Dale with Kubota Tractor Corporation out of Grapevine, Texas. We have our full lineup of Kubota products out here today, construction as well as tractors, uh, as well as all of our hay equipment that we're trying to show everybody and get everybody at Crystal familiar with uh, the full line company that we are now here at Kubota Tractor. Main thing I'm trying to focus on today and, and showing everybody is our harvest rental tractors that we have that are a really good buy to the customer. It's sold as new with a, just a few hundred hours on it and it's a, really a great buy, so thank you very much. And hi, I'm Haley Throne with JCB out of Savannah. I'm the Ag Product Sales Specialist for the Southeast. While we have some of our uh, compact equipment here, including our one arm teleskid, I am featuring the JCB Fast Track 4220, 217 horsepower machine with a top speed of 39 miles an hour. Great machine with Agco Sisu engine and continuously variable transmission. She has hydraulic suspension on all four corners with ABS disc brakes. Any more information, feel free to contact your local Crystal. My name is Jason Pan, and I'm the parts manager for our Deland and Leesburg locations. So I have Wendy over there helping me with uh, some steel products, um, and I have FOEs here also with the Echo products. We're just going over uh, different uh, battery options, different gas powered options. Hey guys, I'm uh, Brad Bailey with Florida Outdoor Equipment. We're the local uh, Echo Shindawa distributor here. We're really happy to be out here for the equipment rodeo, having a great time. Demoing some new Echo and Shindawa products. Got some chainsaw cutting in the background here. They're doing some blower races uh, behind us. Really excited to be showing out some of the new Echo products. We've got, uh, not only are we got the new Echo 56 volt with a uh, edger and a black pack blower and so a pull saws, but we're also in a, continuing to innovate or Echo's continuing to innovate with gas products. They've added some new chainsaws this year, new backpack blowers. So it's really exciting to be out here sharing that stuff with Jason and the rest of the group. And we're just having a great time. Hi, I'm Frank Hale with Crystal Tractor. Today we're out here in our ATV side-by-side -side work vehicle demonstration area for employee training. We've got Kubota out here. We've got CF Moto. We also have Roxor and we have Gravely out here. All right, um, basically here is what we're teaching our employees is the difference between like trail and fun vehicles and work job site vehicles. We also have the rock source, what the difference is between all of these models, what different purposes they're used for. And we also have the honor today of having our sister store, Crystal Harley-Davidson, got Blaine right here. They're out here helping us out as well. What's going on guys? Uh, today we brought out the jump start so anybody can get on and run through the gears that's never done it. Um, it's a safe way to start learning and get that confidence going before you go on the road. Um, brought a couple of baggers, some other options, talking about other things that's coming. Uh, Harley's getting ready to release all their new stuff, so we're pretty excited to see it. 
Hi guys, I'm John Parker with Crystal Tractor and uh, we're out here at our uh, equipment rodeo today. And uh, this is our turf booth where we're running all of our mowers, um, a little bit of everything we carry throughout our company. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce you to the reps and uh, introduce you to some of their lines. Hey there guys, my name is Brad Bailey. I'm with Florida Outdoor Equipment. We're very happy to be out here at the uh, equipment rodeo. Very happy to be representing Skag Mowers, American made, family owned company. First and foremost, they're a metal fabricating company. They make everything in house uh, for these mowers. We've got the Velocity Plus deck. We've got the through bolt design on the spindles. We've got cheetahs out here with two speed transmissions, suspension seats. We've got an electric EZ mower, V rides for stand ups, everything from 36 inches up to 72 inches diesel models. We offer a lot of different engine options and we're really happy to be out here sharing with these guys at Crystal Tractor. Hey guys, Eric Collip here with Gravely Zero Turn Mowers. Gravely's been around for 90 plus years. A lot of you may know a great American heritage brand. We've got an unbelievable amount of mowers from $4,000 price point up to $15,000 price point. Our HD line is one of our most popular, probably one of the most popular in your stores. If you look at it, it's just a, a great mower with a lot of features. Seven gauge deck this year uh, for less than 6,000 bucks. So check them out. You're gonna love the line. It's awesome. Thanks. Hey everybody, I'm John uh, with Spartan Mowers. Uh, Spartan's based out of Batesville, Arkansas. We're a premium brand of mowers. We, we have some uh, new product coming out and some changes coming out in uh, 2024. Uh, we're gonna have a price point at starting around $4,000 and going up from there. Our mowers uh, feature a seven gauge deck on, on many of the models. Uh, great styling with the updates coming in 2024. You're gonna see some enhanced updates in styling coming along. Hi, I'm Tony Holland. I uh, represent Hustler Turf. Hustler been around, so we've built more since 63. Our lineup starts at 34 inches and goes all the way up to 104 inches. And probably the highlight that we brought out to the show today was the Super 104. It is a massively productive machine uh, with all kinds of unique features for the large landscapers, uh, especially people doing solar fields. It's called on and it's just an awesome machine. I got John Parker again here at the Equipment Rodeo. Um, I'm gonna discuss, uh, you know, we got the Kubotas here today. We got the Stand Up Series. We got the 400 Series. We got the ZD Series. We also have the uh, Curtis Cab option on the ZD here. As you know, Kubota has a, they have a North American operation now. It's not just a Japanese company anymore. They're shipping out of Augusta, Georgia and uh, just built a brand new facility in Kansas. So uh, when you think American made, think Kubota. My name's Ryan Geralt. I'm a representative for Alto's Track Mowers been here for about a year. We've been making them for about 10 years. We just did our 10 year anniversary. We have the only zero turn track mower, bush hog style blade system on it. So it's basically a bush hog on a zero turn mower with tracks, specializing in water retention, hillsides, sand, mud, anything where a zero turn with the wheel has trouble with, ours normally goes in and, and takes care of it. We're known for our the smoothness of our drive. It's a tracked mower, but we have a, a patented flex axle that smooths out the ride and uh, glides over the holes and imperfections in the ground. So it's just a great mower. Hi, I'm Slade with Crystal Tractor. Today I want to show you our excavator demo site. We have Kubota, JCB, Takauchi excavators running. We have a skills challenge that we're doing right over to the side there, exercising the drivability of a machine, how to use a thumb. Over in the digging area, you'll see that we're moving material with a variety of sizes of excavators. To represent the brands, uh, starting with Takeuchi, we have Eric here. I'm Eric at Takeuchi. And, uh, we have a, a few machines out here, ranging from a one-ton machine up to a TB260 machine uh, with our newest series of 335, so our three series machine. Uh, my name is Caden Dewey, I'm with JCB. Here today, we've got the 35Z and the 50Z mini uh, excavators. The 35Z is 25 horse, and the other one is 48 horse. Hey guys, it's Ryan uh, with Crystal Tractor in Leesburg. Today we got a couple Kubota excavators out here. We've got two KXO 33s. You're looking about 7,400 pounds on those two. Uh, we also have a KX 008, which you're looking at 2,200 pounds. So all the way from plumbing guys to tree work and just uh, underground work, we've got all of those bases covered for you today. 
Welcome to the Crystal Rodeo. I'm Brad Davis. I am handling the Sani construction site today. So we're out here getting a good chance to experience all the large Sani equipment that we have. So today here in this section, we've brought out the SW305 wheel loader. We also have the SY365. We brought in a mini, couple minis. We have the SY60 and we also have the SY26. I want to introduce Jordan T. He's a representative from Sani and he'll give us a little rundown on some of the machines that we have here today. Thank you, sir. So behind us, we've got a 365. It comes with that impressive five-year, 5,000-hour five warranty, impressive breakout force. Everything is standard. We don't do options. So when you come look at Sandy with Crystal Tractor, you're going to be able to get the top best features, standard, so you're not going to have to budget for extra. On the 305 wheel loader that we have behind us, 360 camera, standard, heated seat, upper lower kickouts, all the features you expect from a high brand like we are, but being able to bring it to you at a great value and a great price with an awesome warranty. What's your name? What do you do here? It's Rush Rollins. I'm the operator for Galant. So all the stations you went to today, which one was your favorite? Oh man, the Sandy. I enjoyed the heavy iron. I hear that a lot. I enjoyed that a lot. So out of all the different equipment you tried out today, which one do you think you learned the most about? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I enjoyed the Roxer. I haven't been in one of those ever, so I enjoyed cool. riding around the Roxer. Learned a lot about those. Did you have a good time? I had a great time. What's name? What do you do here? Amanda Lawton and I'm in sales in Madison, Florida. So all the stations you went to today, which one was your favorite? ATVs. TVs. Where do you think you learned the most at? Um, the excavators and skid steers. What do you think was your favorite piece of equipment today? The excavators. All right, you have fun? I did. Excellent. Got Dominic with Ocala and parts. What piece of equipment do you have the most fun on today? Uh, definitely the Altos mower back there. Nice little track system on a zero turn. Very fun and very comfortable. Did you learn anything? Still learning a lot on how to operate some of the buckets and those ones. Learning also on the tractors. Basically learning everything. I've never operated much. Did you have a good time? Yes, sir. How are you? Glad to hear it. I'm Evan Jackson. I'm one of your parts guys. So out of all the stations you went to today, which one's your favorite? Uh, personally like the Z Forces over there, where you got to ride the UTVs, ATVs, and also the Rockers. Right on. And also, I do pick, pretty sure I like the excavator section too as well. Definitely like the JBCs and Wacker Nuisance. That's the way to get it done. Which piece of equipment do you think you learned the most about today? I want to say J, JCB, the load all. Oh, yeah. all. Good one. reach. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. What's your name? What do you do here? Hey, my name's Nick. I work for Sells at a Crystal Tractor at Chiefland. All the stations you went to today, which one was your favorite? 
Oh, had to be that Harley station, man. It just made me want me a new bike. But coming over to the Seppi station, it get, gets me out, showing me more implements that I haven't gotten to view or work myself, ask questions that I don't get to ask on a daily basis. So it's been really informative being out here. What piece of equipment do you think you learned the most about? Hmm. I've learned a lot about uh, Sandy products. They make a really good quality product. So it'd be good for me to show customers that I run into on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Cool. Did you have fun? I've had a great time. What do you do here? Lab three, so I'm a tech in Tallahassee. All the stations you went to today, which one was your favorite? This one, because I'm ahead. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so what was your favorite piece of equipment? Man, uh, that can be hard to say. Probably Big Boy, the Sandy. Where do you think you learned the most at today? Probably right here. Yeah? yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Wow. What's your name? What do you do here? Karen with Crystal Tractor Hastings. All right. All the stations you went to today, which one was your favorite? The CF Motos. Okay. The RTVs and the four wheel. Which piece of equipment do you think you learned the most about? Um, a hindrance. If we don't have them at our location, we sell them, but I've never played with one. Cool. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. What's your name? What do you do here? I am Betty. I work at Tallahassee. I'm the parts manager there. I love my job. I've been a tractor girl pretty much my whole life. All the stations you went to today, which one was your favorite? Probably the RTVs and the thing that looked like a Jeep. What's the that rock called? Sword. The Rock Sword. The Rock Sword. It's a kind of a rough ride, but it was fun. So out of all the equipment you drove, which one did you learn the most about? The skid steer, because I've never driven a skid steer. We sell a lot of those. That was fun. That was fun learning how to drive that now. Awesome. And I like moving the dirt over there, too but the skid steer was a lot of fun. Cool, so you had fun today. I did have fun today. This has been a great day. I look forward to it next year, I really do. Right, guys our second annual crystal equipment rodeo coming to an end it's teardown mode good day good weather people really enjoyed everything um, I hope you found everything on this video interesting and uh, we'll see you next year thank you